What's going on guys? First of all I'd like to apologize because this commentary is gonna be in English. I know some people wanted to hear Dutch version but sorry some more people wanted to hear English. So what you'll see here are these trash bags. They contain what's called forces of earth. If you can you should control them but it's not always possible. Oh and one more thing, I'm a ho unholy death knight so I'm a DPS class, just so you know. I'm usually a blood tank but not on this run because I don't even have equipment yet. So, uh, moving on. There, there are these little ads you can just AOE them. But if you're a little bit geared like a tank with about 120k HP and some good defense, you should be able to take them all. What you see here are um, mobs that can do a certain attack called flare or something. You can't actually interrupt that. So you should your tank and your DPS should move away from that spell. Your DPS should be behind the mobs anyway, but yeah, it can happen then. Also, uh, in these packs you'll see Milhouse Mana Storm. You should always DPS him first. Milhouse Mana Storm is sort of, yeah, well, you should look him up. He's a major lore character in World of Warcraft. Uh, you should DPS him, and after a certain amount of damage, he'll just run away. And then you can focus on the rest of the ads. Not much else to talk about here, just plain generic trash. Also I've sped this video up quite a bit and that's because YouTube has a 15 minute time limit so I can't make the video too long and I can't make it 15 minutes either because it'll be too big to upload. Mm, let's see here, what am I doing? Uh, one big strategy to the Cataclysm Dungeons is you have to talk, you have to know what to do. You have to crowd control certain things, especially when you first enter and you don't even have level 85 gear or cataclysm gear. But that can be solved by going to the auction house and buying some cataclysm greens. It's pretty cheap, I think I geared my whole character for about 2000 gold or something. Uh, about the DPS I'm doing. It's not that high, but it's because I was messing with a new rotation. It's about 45k, which is pretty good because I was still level 84 or something in that video. I'm now level 85 and everything should be good now. My DPS comes to about 6-7k right now, and I'm not even geared yet, so... It's ridiculous how these items scale in Cataclysm. They went from like 50 to 60k HP suddenly to 140-150 as normal now. And with raid gear you can get like 160, I think. I don't even have raid gear, but it should be somewhere around 160k, which is ridiculous, man. How? But yeah, well, you pretty much need it, especially in these dungeons. And as you see on the screen now, there's a a giant freaking worm out of nowhere. He just killed Millhouse Mana Storm, which is good because he was costing his whole impending doom thingy whatever now this rock thing it just uh, does uh, an ability called crystal barrage you should just move out of it and then it burrows underground and you should uh, use your you should just run away from the smoke and your tank should use every AOE ability he has to keep the ads on him what you're seeing here is an interesting ad it does something called quake and when that hits you have to jump there's no way to avoid it, you just have to jump. After that, oh yeah, one more thing. He'll cast something called summon ad or something. And it'll summon an ad and you have to DPS it because it'll explode and it will increase the damage taken by the person that explodes on. So it's pretty important. For the rest, again, these annoying little thingies, you just gotta DPS them down and stay out of their uh, light of sight, line of sight, excuse me. Mm, let's see, it's really hard to see, yeah, just stay out of their line of sight. It's really hard to see because I'm watching it in a preview window and it's like 360 by 240p. Really hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else is there to talk about? So how, how are you guys liking the new Cataclysm? I personally think it's amazing. I mean, archaeology is great for leveling, the questing is 
well, better than in other expansions. Not perfect, it doesn't want to make me quest after 85, I'm just questing to get to 85. Well, I was, I just dinged 85 today, so congrats to me, yay. <laughs> it took me about a week to get to 85, and what you saw there was a little gauntlet event. You should go through the hole, and there are shadows on the ground. Just don't step on them, and everything will be fine. Uh, this is a dragon. He'll cast shadows on the ground. You should move out of those shadows as soon as possible because there will be rocks falling on top of your head and last time I checked that's not all that pleasant. Also on the floor you'll see some some fire, some lava thingy. And let's be honest, if you had lava on your, on your floor you wouldn't be standing in it either so just move out of it, do your healer a big favor. For the rest you just DPS him, tank and spank, try to avoid all magical damage. Pretty much tank and spank. If you die on this fight, something's horribly wrong with your group, man. <laughs> we we went in there, and the first time we had him, uh, we fought his boss. We downed him immediately. Immediately, he doesn't drop all that good loot for me because I'm a plate wearer. But I think he dropped a relic this time. Not sure. Anyway, it was a DPS relic anyway, and I'm trying to get tanking gear because I want to get back into tanking. I find it really enjoyable. What do you guys think is nice as DPS healing or tanking? Tell me in the comments below. In fact, right now, I'm going to give you 50 seconds. Do it right now. Come on, do it. What are you waiting for? Alright, 50 seconds may be a bit long, but still. Uh, what you see here are... Well, I don't know what you're seeing there because I can't see it myself. Ah that hallway, it's a really annoying hallway. You should either crowd control the conjurers or just DPS them down as soon as possible because they'll conjure a bunch of imps and believe me it's not nice to see chaos bolts flying all over the place. And if you see a sentry, DPS it down, especially ranged DPS. They will go into the packs on the side and they'll uh, alert them of your presence. That will pull them to your tank, and believe me, it's not pleasant to receive that much damage. Mm, for the rest, oh, there, there are these nice, um, I don't know what they're called, a uh, bruiser or something in there, and uh, they'll stomp, uh, they'll jump and then stomp in the middle of your party, and and it'll knock your DPS and your tank all around the place. Not pleasant to have, so try to avoid tanking them near other ads because you might be knocked into into one of their packs and that's not pleasant believe me once again talking about strategies talking about what to do always important one thing I like about shaman healers yeah sorry it's a completely random topic but there's not much to talk about here it's just trash you just pull it and dps it one thing i like about shaman healers is i don't know why but they always seem to have enough mana maybe because of their totems or whatever but they never run out of mana that's why when i'm raiding or when i'm when i'm just in a dungeon i prefer to have a, a, a shaman healer or a paladin healer i don't know why but we had a paladin healer today and we pulled like so many packs and I only have 120k health. But we pulled like in this hallway, we didn't DPS on the sentries. So they went to the sides and we pulled like 5 packs of them. And not at the same time, but in packs of 2. And it was a disaster, man. If we didn't have that Paladin healer, we'd be dead. Also, when uh, on the upcoming boss, you'll see uh, there's the. There's a bruiser next, yeah, walking over there. Uh, that's a patrol, and I try to avoid it by pulling the boss really far behind, but some DPS stood way too far behind, and he actually aggroed him. So we had to deal with one of those, and we had to deal with the boss, and it was almost impossible, but we were lucky to have a good paladin healer. I don't know what it is, but paladins they seem to heal pretty good. Paladins were always overpowered in my opinion. 
I play the Paladin up to level 55 so I can get my Death Knight. And for some reason I I really like tanking with him, but not enough to crap out of him. I can't even I can't still tank, but it's hard to AoE tank now. And as you see we have another bruiser pool here. Just simply DPS him now and try not to pull any ads. And Paladin tanking before this new latest patch, it was really enjoyable. All you had to do is pop a righteous fury down. Maybe self heal once in a while because well it was hard for the healer to to heal everything because well I was a freaking noob. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, as you see here we're pulling the boss and this boss has some weird abilities man. It'll stun you and for the for the range DPS that's not a problem at all. You just have to move away. But for the me melee DPS, there's a big problem. You have to attack him and he'll put the stacking debuff on you. You have to get this debuff on you all the time because if you don't, he'll uh, he'll stun you and only damage can take you out of that stun. After he stuns you, he'll do this crazy AoE ability that you should really move out of. It doesn't kill you, but it's better if you move out of it because the healer is not gonna be happy if you stand in it all day. After this boss, it gets pretty easy, at least in my opinion. Maybe because this is normal mode, or maybe because it's really easy. But as I was saying about tanks, my blood knight, my blood knight, uh, death knight, sorry, my blood death knight is a pretty good tank actually. Well, at least he wasn't rough, but everybody could be a good tank in rough. It was just so easy. Uh, my, as a blood knight, ugh, blood knight. <laughs> as a blood death knight, you have almost no aggro problem. Maybe a little bit on the AoE packs, but as long as you pop death and DK, and you have all your diseases on the target, especially with this new ability called Outbreak, I think, puts all your diseases on at once, and you and you use pestilence it shouldn't be much of a problem now here you got a lot of AoE build packs and in the beta this used to actually disconnect you if you pulled too many and you started AoEing them down so we were a little bit cautious and we pulled them one pack at a time and over there on the throne you'll see uh, the next boss, the last boss of this instance, thank god it's a really long instance. I have like 40 minutes of footage, but I had to compress it to fit on YouTube. This boss is pretty interesting. In Heroic, it gets really hard, and in here, it's actually pretty easy. What she'll do is she'll force grip the tank. No, yeah, you can interrupt it, but it's not really necessary. And she'll cause these void zones that you gotta move out of, but they're so slow it doesn't even matter much. You have to be blind to stand in there. And then she'll cast this whole shield thingy and move back to her throne and start summoning a lot of adds. You have to DPS them now because even though they don't have a lot of health, they're still pretty pretty strong. They have a lot of hit power. And from there on it's pretty simple, just the same thing over and over again, just DPS her down. And as you see we beat the dungeon. Some nice loot drop there. If you want to see it, pause it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like, if you like more comment, well, if you like more commentaries, please rate and comment. Ciao.